So today I'm going to jump on a bike and go to Wat Nat Klang, a community on Bangkok's Thonburi side. This community have lived along a canal for 250 years. This canal connects to Bangkok's Chow Phraya River. The area has avoided much of the modern development seen elsewhere in Bangkok and still retains its old charm. Here you'll find friendly smiles, Thai hospitality, and a window into how people used to live in Bangkok many years ago. And I'm here today with Gary, who has a channel called The Roaming Cook. I'll leave a link in the description. And both of us are gonna go into Wat Nat Klang, meet the locals, and explore the area. Boys fishing here. Oh, look at that. Fishing there. Boys are trying to get them, look. Oh, fish over there, look. He's trying to get it, look. Is he gonna get the fish? What a life, huh? You wouldn't know we're about 20 minutes away from skyscrapers and it feels very local here. It feels like the countryside. Strong boy there. We carry on. Yeah. And here's one they got earlier. But he said it's like this guy's still. His eyes are still moving. The boys have their dinner for tonight. And this is Om. He's our contact for today. When you go to these areas and you're gonna film, it's always good to have a person with you that everybody knows, and everybody knows Om. He's grown up in this community his whole life. And he's taken us down through the laneways of Wat Nat Klang, and he's shown us the different houses and explaining the importance that water still has for the community here. I'm not gonna break into this house. I'm not gonna break in here. <laughs> Here's what I talk about, like how they use like the water from the canal here. Oh, so the water comes into the house from here. <laughs> So the water from the canal comes in here. Very old house. Come, come, come. 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 Come
<laughs> right folks, we've just come down along the canal again, further down the canal, and we are at like a little kind of a, a party. There's a little party going on here. And there's a little house in here, and we've been invited in to um, sample the food. There's a cook in there, wants us to try their food, so we're going to go in, try the food, see the little Thai house. And uh, as you can see, the locals, the locals are friendly around here. So we're gonna go in, check it out, and then. Um... <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we're gonna let's do that. Let's do that. There's a lot going on here at the moment. We've just been invited into a house. I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm just kind of rolling with it. And and we're sitting right beside the canal here. Here we go, look. Ah. Kind of like a party going on here. He's showing me that he has a a cigarette on a skull. I don't know why they have this. He's a 72 years old man. 72. Always happy. Wow. Yeah. 72. 72 years old. Very happy. He looks happy. And Gary's over here. Look. Filming the Thai food. <laughs> he, he just patted me on the bot on the bottom as I walked past. <laughs> Gary's recording the food. Oh, I love it, I love it. Have a little look out here in this room. Older than my mother. 93 years old. 93 year old house. Between her house. And the house. The house 93 years old. 93 years old. 94 now. 94. Yeah. Wow. Before we have rough. Before we have rough. Rough. Yeah, rough. My house. Rough. Yeah, yeah. And then there's my, my, uh, my grandmother, she, she sold the Thai food because Nam Ok, 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 Nam Ok,
then it's like a laneway to get outside their house again. And once you walk outside, you're along the canal again. And there's Gary Butler. <laughs> but it's food. What are we having, Gary? Absolutely no idea what this is. No one seems to know what this is, even the guy who cooked it. It's some type of mussel. But what it looks like Paka Pub, it's actually Bayila. What's Bayila? Bayila is, uh, they call, we call it tree basil, but I don't know if it's even a basil. Because Thai basil, I mean, holy basil is not a basil either. But besides the point, this goes better with beef than uh, is it? It's like Kapow, is it? Yeah, it tastes like Kapow, but a little bit stronger. And it just goes better with beef for some reason. And then some lime leaves, some like, finger root, loads of chilies in there. Homemade chilli paste. Hey! Hey! I love you. <laughs> okay, Cap. Okay. Okay. Hey! Because Hey! I'm oh, scared in case we fall into this canal here. Yeah. This guy, this guy is a bit of a liability. Oh, we don't want to get hit with a shoulder. We go right into the canal. It's a little dance move. Chuck the cap. He's like your uncle. You know, your um, when you go to a wedding, there's always a drunk uncle, right? This <laughs> this guy. Legend. I've never, honestly, I've only met him three times, I've never seen him so. Very good. What oh. I will say is though, he does actually, uh, like his shop, he does actually sell the best point hot in like, Bangkok. Jen, Jen, Jen. Jen, Jen, long thing do I like. I like one mark, I like one mark, I like one mark. Where would you get it, folks? Nah. And there it goes, the little canal boat up the river, oh, up the canal. With a canal that's teeming with fish. My God, I want to go fishing. Look, all the whole way up, just fish. What kind of fish are in there, Gary? Do you know? I've uh, got pass away, which are like uh, I don't know how to even say it. They're like Pegasus fish. They're like the cheap dory fish. They call it here. Oh, but dory they're like, fish. No, but they're not even a dory. They're like another breed of that. that are they're not very nice. Um, and then there's a lot of catfish in here as well, and a lot of. Um, uh, what's the other one? Snakehead fish. Uh, uh, snakehead fish? Well, what's the name in Thai? Uh, pachon. Pachon, pachon. 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 Yeah, yeah. And if you want to know what a pachon is, you can check out my video uh, when I ate a pachon next door. I can put a link in, can't I? You, like, yeah, you can put a link in. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> 20 baht. <laughs> <laughs> and there we sat for the next couple of hours with the locals, sharing experiences, sharing culture, and having fun. It was a great day out in Bangkok. One of those days that make living in Bangkok worthwhile. I'm gonna give a special shout out to Om, because he runs a tour company, and he can take you up the canal in his boat for 500 baht per person. The name on Instagram is Hidden Bangkok Tours. Check them out. He is a great guy. Thank you very much, folks. See you on the next one. Please subscribe. Get us to 4,000. Thank you very much.